applications of reflections of light uh, just a few things that you need to know uh, okay uh, actually you should have learned this in uh, form 4 chapter 5 eh? uh, just a re uh, revisions for you uh, for uh, safeties of car okay we use it as a side mirrors or the real mirrors of a car and for communications we use in a fiber optic okay now what you need to know about fiber optic eh? okay you need to know that there are two layer okay that there are two layer we have the inner core actually it's glass eh? this is glass okay the inner core and then we have the outer cladding outer cladings eh? inner core and the outer cladings the inner core should have high refractive index and the outer cladding should have low refractive index so that so that total internal reflections can occur you should have learned this in uh, form 4 chapter 5 eh? total internal reflections because total internal reflections can only occur for light that move from high refractive index to low refractive index if this is low this is high then total internal reflection cannot occur eh? okay so uh, that's what you need to know about the fiber optics eh? two layers inner core and outer cladings inner core higher refractive index outer cladings lower refractive index and the lights move in okay uh, undergoes total internal reflections eh? okay uh, so this is one of the uh, applications of uh, reflections of light eh, that you need to know uh, periscope okay so this is a periscope and this is the structures of the periscope okay you use a uh, reflections of light okay why we use a prism but not a mirrors that is because by using prisms you, you can have a brighter image okay and clearer image eh? we don't have double image if you use mirror you may have double image eh? which is not very clear so we use prism because uh, it's brighter and clearer and a uh, cat's eye reflector sometimes uh, on the road uh, okay you can see this reflector this reflector okay this reflector it looks like it's a uh, is that is this light come come from it right okay but actually there's uh it, it doesn't emit light it doesn't emit light. the light actually is come from the headlamps of the car so it means that this thing it just reflect the light eh? okay so we call this the cat's eye reflector cat's eye reflector uh this is the uh, this is the structures okay the cat eyes reflector here and uh this is the, this is the illust illustrations to show how it work okay eh? the light from your headlamps go inside refracted hit the uh, reflector reflected back okay so this is applications of uh, reflections of light eh? the cat's eye reflector on the road eh? uh, usually is on the dividers okay cat's eye reflector okay endoscope so this is a uh, one of the endoscope and then this one shows a doctor are using the endoscope so how it functions eh? so this endoscope uh, there are fiber optic inside okay and then here there is a, a light source eh? but so these things one of the user uh, is to for the doctors to see the conditions of the surface of your stomach for example let's say there's an ulcer there okay so a doctor want to see whether there's an ulcer there or not so these things will be insert into your stomach through your throat to your throat eh? so from, from your mouth go into your throat and then go into the stomach and then they're on the light uh, and then from there okay so this here is a place for the doctors to see yeah, and take pictures uh, of the conditions of your stomach okay so we call this endoscope uh, endoscope and it's using fiber optic and uh, this is the applications of uh, reflections of light uh, usually they won't ask you how it functions but uh, usually just in the in objective question they give you a list and say uh, which of the followings uh, use uh, are the applications of uh, reflections of light so endoscope is one of it eh? okay applications of reflections of light headlamps of a car okay also use reflections eh? usually the lamp is at the uh, principal focus eh? okay so the lights heat the 
reflector uh, after you hit the reflectors it reflected back and then the lights move in the in uh, move forwards uh, parallels and if we move forward parallels then uh, it can move further okay it can reach uh, further objects uh, this is one of the past year questions uh, one of the past year questions they ask about the locations of the bulb so this is also uh, applications of reflections of light uh.